What's going on, buddy? My name is Zell, friends, and welcome back to yet another reaction. And now today, I got another video for you guys from MovieTube. It is the continuation of the last Team Fortress 2 video I uh, made a while back after the 10th class episode. And this is episode 5 of that series. So, I think this is going to be the end of this particular series on HoovyTube's channel, but we'll have to wait until we see what happens at the end of it. So, we're not going to really stray too far into, well, prolong this intro. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. This is End of Fortress MN Episode 5. I don't know what MN stands for. I probably have to look back at some things. But we're going to get land this bad boy in 3, 2, 1, go. Movie 2 presents. Who are you? Blue Scout. Got any news for me, Cinderella? Before you passed, you captured the point and dominated everyone. The first point ever captured by us. I remember that. Wake up. Scout, wake up! Ow, okay, I was gonna say. That was weird. Boss to move the spawn room. It will soon be ready. Look at that. <laughs> we soon won't have to bother with them anymore. I sense a conspiracy going on, and this isn't like the time I said Bigfoot exists. <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> Soldier. What the hell is happening? I mean us. Oh, delicious shoes. Victor, you've got to help me. We've got nothing valuable here, only a bunch of weapons. Not quite two thousand dollars, but I can make an exception. I forgot what the yellow mercenaries are about. I'm sorry, boy. It must be done for the greater good. We fail miserably despite being Americans, and you're supposed to take care of them all alone? How come? Explain yourself! Soldier's two brain cells collided in a peculiar enough way that he said something of value. What makes you such a hotshot? We come from two different worlds. You fight for noble ideas, and that's respectable, but I'm in the killing business. That has been my job. Show us your weapons, at least. I ain't giving my rifle to a piker. Huh. What is that? Sweet Lord, he's got access to newer technology. Explain it to me through literature. It's as if David fought Goliath with a nuclear bomb. Oh boy. Gentlemen, everyone, listen. Spy, what the hell are you on about? The red team has something really bad up their sleeve. What the hell do you mean bad up their sleeve? A damned cufflink? You're shooting at a tank with a pistol, my guy. This contraption is bulletproof like heavy's ass during any overcharge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shoot, damn it! What is wrong with you, maggots? For starters, how did you acquire a $400,000 tank, soldier? Funny story. I met a communist. And, uh, I offered him something his country couldn't offer him. Food stamps. <laughs> okay. Stupid weapon. Never needed it anyways. The last time I had to give up my weapon was when I was charged with war crimes. Stupid Geneva Convention. Back in the good old days, you could use human shields. Soldier, please understand that this is for the greater good. If we don't claim control over this terrain, the red economy will collapse. I will take that at face value. Oh, it ain't so bad. I can part ways with my rifle. 
I used it mostly to snoop on ladies. Until the incident. What incident? Soon defeating the entire blue team by myself will be added to the bottom of my list of achievements. Timmy! Medic and spy fake their deaths to escape with my precious money! I knew something was funky with them. I will hunt them down. Also, I noticed that um, Fortnite reference in the background. I noticed it, so don't point it out in the comment section. My Matushka would hide bread from me if she knew how bad of a leader I am. <laughs> So he's gonna go hunt down medic and spy. Oh wait, no, this is the blue one. Oh, he has no idea what's coming for him. Oh, look! I was saying, Hitchcock is vastly underrated. Critics can bow before my nuts. Inchy, look. You're too far from the respawn point to gain your life back. State your business or die. Oh boy. This is not going to bode Fire well now. for the blue team. Who did he just shoot? Oh, he shot Sniper first. What the hell is going on now? I forgot what happened in the last video. Soldier, shoot the damn tank! I don't know how! There's no manual in here! Just copies of Lenin's The State and Revolution! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes Pyro. Jeez! We live in a simulation! I am getting closer. I know this. I know this full well. You grease-stripping, nicotine-addicted fools! <laughs> Boss, the elevator isn't working. What the hell are we doing in this nuclear shelter anyways? I, it crashed under my curve, and Medic told me to move the respawn ah. crystal here. Aren't you supposed to be giving orders? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there goes Heavy. Heavy's getting shot to hell. Where's the Medic? The Workers' Revolution? What? This doesn't even appeal to me, and I get paid in cat hair and toenail clippings. Ah, oh, there you go. I figured it out. Rocket jump! I'll give you a damn rocket jump. <laughs> this guy is dead meat, I tell you. Gotta take out the medic. I like that gun, though. It's di it's highly different than anything I've ever seen in Team Fortress. Uh oh. oh. There goes heavy. Or take out the heavy first. How is he gonna take out the tank? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Jesus, that's simple. <laughs> Your Wrangler. It's all taken care of. 
Be patient and charge me. <laughs> he's the one that's coughing, even though he's the one that's always smoking. Melee fight, here we go. Uh oh, there goes Medic. What's Engie gonna do? Right through the heart. Lucky strike. <laughs> so it is over. Just like that. My plan is kaput. I'm jiving like a pharmacy honey mama. Hot riot rum? Give me that pipe. <laughs> Give me that pipe. <laughs> Are you just smoking and drinking? We didn't just sell our weapons, we sold our souls. That's kind of profound, actually. Stop overthinking things. There you are! Huh? Oh, that's a milk good dog. I wonder if I. <laughs> smell this. Smell this, you foul creature dog. <laughs> Lead me there, lead me there, you dog! <laughs> Spy, you are quite the character. <laughs> what the hell? Come here, you. Oh, he's high. They're both high. <laughs> Let me tell you why I helped you disappear in the first place. It wasn't for the $2,000. Medic, look at me. You and I both hate the red team and everything it stands for. So you want to leave? For good? Don't you? Oh, my god, Spy, this is coming out of nowhere! Yes! They're gonna form their own group. Read him the script in 30 seconds. Read him the script in 30 seconds? Scouts, get everyone into the elevator. We will be running shortly. Do you want to save our team? What you will do now is take the stock of the Blue Mining Company. Here I put that paper! And offer it to the 10th class. Oh. Oh, I see where they're going at. And you're dead! I dare you! Get that gun out of my face! Ugh. So, the red team offer you $2,000. I offer you 50% of the shares of the Blue Mining Company. The revolution is failing, so this paper will be worth millions! What the hell? That's actually a good offer. <laughs> Everyone backstabs me! Aside from you, foul creature dog! Take a sip of this, my friend. It will make things very clear. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? You even couldn't help me find the medic! You just found another man who happens to smell like cigarettes and backstabs me like everyone else! <laughs> Who's that? Is that medic and spy? <laughs> Magnificent nine. Oh, 
I guess there's more to come. It's kindly sponsored by TF2 Cases. It's a unique website where you can open cool cases. Use code HoovyTube to get a free case. Okay, what was that plugin? Okay. Now let me introduce myself to you. Uh, so my name is Kajetan, I am from Poland and I spent 25,000 hours uh, working uh, in Source Filmmaker. It all kind of began when uh, at a young age I found about Team Fortress 2, the game itself, uh, but mostly the Meet the Shorts which inspired me uh, a great deal to pursue animation as a primary hobby of mine. The videos themselves uh, left me wanting more after the series was abandoned and um, I created my own canon of videos with many characters who are all built upon a certain philosophy of life that I built up along the years. Uh, it kind of consists of many different ideas, especially from 18th century Germany and 20th century Poland. And I categorized all of that in two separate YouTube playlists, which I will share them with you in the pinned comment. Hmm. I animated this whole project by myself, however, it couldn't be completed without the voice actors. Muse Trigger, uh, Dr. Hoctor, M. Nudge, Scarlet, and actually me, because I recorded all of the voice lines for the storyboard for the sake of capturing the character's emotions. Everyone backstabbed me, aside from you. Foul could <laughs> Uh, as for the future, my new video is already 30% done, and it's already shaping up to be my favorite video. Before we move on, I want to tell you about something. There's this book from the 19th century, I carry it around everywhere I go. I'm interested. I know! So the first chapter goes like this. Zaratustra, after living in a cave for 20 years, learning about virtues, decides to leave his place. He has been nurtured by the sun for 20 years, and you know who he sees when going down a stroll in the mountains? A priest. And you know what he says to him? Haven't you heard that God is dead? Okay, oh god. That's a spoiler for the next video. Why does it always do that? It just ends without any explanation. Um... Okay, so I guess there is going to be an episode 6 that's probably going to include everything I don't entirely know yet. But we'll see when that video comes out. So if you guys enjoyed today's reaction video, please let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video that was slightly spoiled just a minute of there. Just a second ago. Well, I will see you in that next video. Bye.